And we are back. Rocket League continuing right here on MLG.TV. Last week we had the pilot episode. Our $500 NA tournament went swimmingly. Everyone uh, went rather well. Everyone saw the finals. Was like, holy shit! Rocket League is an esport. Ben and I, we're gonna keep on that gas pedal. We're bringing you Rocket pedal League all to week. The metal. Tonight is the International Invitational. Twelve players, four teams. Our top two so far: Team Kronovi going up against Team Mike Rules. Uh, Mike, of course, the EU captain, considered one of the best players in all of Europe, going up against. Probably the game's best striker so far in Kronovi. Yeah. He, he won the 1v1 tournament. He was stellar throughout the, our 3v3 tournament last week, and already he's leading his team in goals. He and Doomsy, the powerhouse attacking squad so far in this tournament. Yeah, the that was a great first pick from him, and you can kind of see exactly why he went after Doomsy. was just, they gel very, very yep. well from what we saw in the attacking sense, which means, yeah, okay, maybe you might concede a couple of goals here and there, but in the grand scheme of things, you, you put yourself into a wonderful position with that first teammate. Elmer Fudd, the American, filling out the third man on the Kronovi lineup. He's done a solid job playing defense, uh, as has Kyle on the opposite end, playing for Team Mike Rules. Kyle, the defenseman, while O'Neal has kind of been playing the mid, Mike definitely taking on that striker position, but it looks like our players are now loading up into the game. I just counted six. We're good to spectate. Good. Let's, let's get into the action. <clears throat> okay. Well, Kenobi spawns in. And as does our blue team. Yep, everyone's spawning in now. So, off the break, let's take a look. Kenobi. Oh, no, O'Neal. This is Mike. Who's your money on? O'Neal, off the break. Goal. No, false. <laughs> Close, but close. Kronovi with a nice save there. There was two players going aerial for the defense. Already though, blue team putting the pressure on Mike Rules with another shot and look for O'Neal to finish. We're on board with Kyle for the moment. Let's take it over to O'Neal. Oh, Mike keeping the pressure on though, and he's gonna try and make a play on the attacking side. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to do so just yet, but <laughs> flying in goes Kyle. And he's managed to just put the ball back in towards that far corner. Now, Kyle doesn't always go for the strikes, but he is the man. If you're out of time, he will put it in. And speaking of putting it in, O'Neal's going to slip it first. Here's a look at the shot one more time. Off two defenders, he's able to finish. And will he go for the ball off the break? Mike Rule's going to go collect that boost. Right away, we're going to see O'Neal on the attack, but it looks like actually here comes your first strike. Kronovi going to get blocked in the air. Nice defense on the aerial end. Downsy? Oh, Doomsy, sorry? Love Downsy, the... I like that better. Downsy, you like that one better? <laughs> I, I was trying to read the name. I was like, wait a minute. No, wait a that, second. That's not He's not right. in this lobby. He's not, but he could be. And that's a great name, by the way. Anyway, Mike Rules in the fuck corner trying to make something happen. But Kronovi says, see you later. Plays that one all the way down oh, to look Doomsy. At Doomsy. Almost, almost managed to get past that defensive player. Boost just came up. Kyle went straight past it, just wants to square it to O'Neal. He may play for that boost on the other side. He does. And Kronovi could be in a little bit of trouble if he doesn't get that out. But luckily, uh, his teammate Elmer to help him out. Yeah, Elmer and, and Doomsy were kind of set up on the defensive end. But Elmer, after that, Ariel's out of the box. So, Kronovi's got to keep it away from the goal for a bit. Doomsy has to go for a big save here, and Kronovi is going to smash it into the corner. But so far, your orange team is just getting pummeled with shots. It, it's not even necessarily shots. It's just keeping the ball kind of in the opposition box. Just consistent pressure that on the defensive side. You, you have to be at all times wary and aware of how much boost you have. Because if you need to make a big save, you're not doing that without full boost. And Doomsy showing off a little bit of his aerial skill. Kronovi now going up in the air. He is going to be way out of the action. Has to wait to land. No boost to speak of. Picks up two. Setting at 24 boosts, has to use this very sparingly. And here's another wall shot. He is known for these. The setup to Doomsy. Now let's go over to see how they finish. No and way. The pass back no to Elmer, way. but the goalie is going to get blocked by Kyle. Kronovi passes it into Doomsy. Empty net. Doomsy's going to get blocked by O'Neal. Goal. Oh, my. Mike Rules. This is insane. Mike Rules off the line. First of all, let's just talk about that play that we just saw come in from Kronovi. Kronovi to Dooms. Like, it was insane. Uh, and then uh, I, I I'm speechless. The whole time. Chris, Chris I'm speechless. I'm and O'Neal is going to get the pass back. So now we got Kyle playing a little bit of defense. Mike Rules with a good stop. He's going to leave it up to O'Neal to get the clear. But this has been sloppy for the blue team. Finally able to push it out. Very close. Minute three here in this game. 
as O'Neill is looking to continue to try and push this one forward. The ball comes flying in. Kurnovi with a shot on goal. That one tipped out by Kyle once again. Kyle still trying to make a defensive play. Kurnovi not able to finish that one. Doomsie putting more pressure on the ball in that far right-hand side corner. It's going to be bouncing back. Kyle desperately just trying to get rid. Has been able to do so. Ball still bouncing around though in the corner. And we're now finally seeing for one of the first times in this game, Kurnovi's team be so hyper-aggressive. Everyone just kind of going forward, dedicating their time in towards the attacking side. And Mike Rules having some, uh -oh. some problems on this defensive side, it seems, right now. And he is going to keep this one up in the air, though. He's got both middle boosts as well, so keep that in mind. The opponents have to pick a boost from their own side of the map, and he's going to let O'Neill get the corner. So, really, blue team's got the boost advantage at this point. If they can get this ball out, they can go for it. And there is the pass back. Doomsy is going to scoop up. So will Kurnovi even playing field and Orange back on the attack. Ball back in the blue base as well. Kurnovi's done well to just put it back into the box. Doomsy going to have to try and play it around the wall. And O'Neill just big clearance from him. Just, just oh! hook it out, just get rid. <laughs> Mike trying to go for something fancy in the air, but at least it's relieved a little bit of pressure for now. If O'Neill can just try and make something happen in this corner with Mike, they could be in a good position. Uh, Mike's done enough just to chip it over. Kronovi, ooh, needs to be careful. Put it in his own box there. But luckily for him, no one in a position to finish that. Yeah, and O'Neill, I love how aggressive he's playing. He's been in Kronovi's face all game. Offense, defense, doesn't matter. He's going up to compete with him. Another shot on goal by O'Neill. This one is going to be Mike. And Mike cannot finish. Can Kyle come in the oh! closer? The goalie coming out of the net will get the shot on goal, but it's not clear enough. Mike knows he's got to play defense with Kyle out. It's going to be up to him to block the shot, and there's a good save to start things off. That was a great save. Um, back to back ends. 12 seconds left. Time taking for Obi. Tries to put it back into the box. He's going to pass. Can oh, Eight seconds oh, left. He nearly had it. Doomsie not able to control the ball. Kronobi desperately trying to track back, but that ball is going to be in the box. They need to keep this one in the air if they're going to have any chance of tying it up. I don't think they're going to be able to do so. It is still in the air. Mike Rules uh -oh. just, just played to the other side of the pitch. Uh -oh, do Mike. something. Kronobi uh -oh, keeps it alive. Mike. The ball is still bouncing. Uh -oh. Finally Whew. falls Whew. inches in front of the blue goal line, but it doesn't matter. Mike Rules is going to go 1 0 up against Kronobi. And look at the stats here. Mike with three saves, only one shot. You had two shots from O'Neill. Kyle putting some pressure on as well as the lone American on your blue team for game number one. But what a performance across the board. Very exciting finish to the first one. The first goal, though, went in the first minute, didn't it? it? Yeah, it was, it was very, very quick. And then after that, everything kind of settled down a little bit. We just saw lots of big defensive plays. I mean, Kronobi making some goal line saves. Mike Rules making goal line saves. Honestly, everyone was. And I'm actually very impressed with what we've seen from, from Mike Rules in the squad. Kyle doing a great job as the main goalie so far for Team Mike. And right away, Kyle's going to go for the aerial off the wall. Is he going to go for his own shot? It looks like instead they're going to wait for the blue team to push this one forward. Team switching side, of course. So Team Kurnobi now wearing blue. Orange is going to get scored on right away. Mike Rules watches one fly over the head. Doomsy on defense. Almost deja vu. Could not stop this one in time. Very, very quick opening goal. I mean, we didn't really see much action towards the end of the last one. It was just very, very nail-biting close saves. But Kronobi and the boys starting off hot with that first goal. And Doomsie again, putting a lot of pressure off, off the kickoff. And O'Neill just tried to get rid. Yeah, I misspoke a little bit before. Excuse me, guys. The Doomsie was the one with the shot on goal. And you are going to see him with a second opportunity. Bounces it back to Kronobi. Can he finish? No, a good job by Mike to knock that one out of net. We go over to Kronobi, though. It's time for some Kronobi cam. You want to see some Kronobi cam? I have a feeling this one's going in. Look at the pass he's about to get, and that's just simply beautiful. Elmer Fudd off the wall, gives him a perfect ball to play, and Kronobi is not going to mess this one up. Checks the rear view mirror. No one coming behind, and he's going to put that one down. Beautiful start for them. 2-0 up now within the first 50 seconds of the game. I mean, this is a revenge game. You, you could ask for a better start. Potential game three on our hands. Of course, Mike Rules and the boys 1-0 up in the series. But as you said, pretty big revenge cat. Oh, wow. Kenobi from downtown hits the arrow. But yeah, big revenge game coming in from Kenobi and the boys. Kenobi's going to get another opportunity. Everyone out of boost after that. He is just going to wait it out and punish already. Kronovi with two goals and some fantastic assists that time coming from Dooms. And the big difference really has just been how aggressive they've been this, this second game. They've just played more aggressive, they've played more attacking. Rocket 
and it's it's working out in their favor. I mean, you look at shots; they have five shots within the first minute. Like that, that's a lot of attacking pressure to be putting on another team. Yeah, two saves already for the opposition, but no shots on goal for your orange team. Mike Rule is going to watch O'Neill put the first attack down. He's going to try and grab this ball. Let's go over to him here as we take a look at Kronovi going for the clear. I want to see what Mike is up to this whole time. He is still fighting for control. Oh, O'Neill with the miss pass. Easy one right there. Kronovi's going to slam that ball back uh -oh. over. Big, big uh -oh. save comes out from Kyle. Uh -oh. Ooh, yes, Kyle is so good. Kyle not only stopped that first one, he was able to do the back flip and just connect on enough of the ball to clear it for the second. And now they have a shot opportunity. O'Neal with the first whiff. Mike can't get the put back. Nice defense by Doomsy to get that one out. But now he's been detonated. Orange team still attacking. From the hat, though, the Bulls in their own base. Uh, Mike rules place for that boost. But he's <laughs> had the ball just poached from him by Kronovi. Uh, this is Doomsy coming in from the side. That is just a huge, oh. huge error from our orange team. Extremely sloppy play. Uh, you can't really make mistakes like that. Kyle's yeah. completely mistimed his jump. Uh, and Doomsy just kind of turned around and said, oh, open net? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, though. But after Kronovi stole the ball, he also got a nasty clear on Kyle. Just knocked him out of the map. So almost a... Uh, an orchestrated attack coming in from your blue squad. Now you're going to see the defense again. This is going to be O'Neal trying to take control. And as he is looking to pass it to Kyle, that one's going to be stolen by Elmer Fudd. And when the ball gets airborne, you get nervous. A little bit too far, says Elmer, as Kronovi goes flying by. On the opposite end, Kyle oh, goes for the quick Mike. punish. And he will. Oh. it's actually Mike who dribbles it all the way in. What a goal that is. Take a look at this. Just takes the ball in his stride. Not afraid of just adding that little extra touch at the end. I think he was trying to play for the nudge there on the opposition play, but it doesn't matter. Gets the goal two and a half minutes down by three. First game was just 1-0 already here in game two. You got Team Kronovi up 4-1, but Mike Rules just scored a little bit of momentum. Off to break O'Neal with the first shot on goal. Kyle's going to pass this one up. And Mike is going to go for the first aerial if he can get the pass. O'Neal had to try and go for the bicycle. It was just a pretty... Awkward angle, really, to try and make anything happen. But O'Neill poaches it. It's going to go off the crossbar. Can he finish? No, he can't. Big save comes out from Doomsy. Again, Kyle puts it back in. Mike rules with the aerial. Ooh. He's unable to connect with that. O'Neill tries to come in. Kronovi with the clearance, though. Now starts an attack down the left-hand side. Squares it. Doomsy not high enough, though, to be able to connect with that one. And the ball back in the blue base. Tell you what, Kyle's in a good position here, Chris. Yeah, and, and this all started off with Kyle going airborne to get the ball on this Ooh. side. Mike Rules just took that away from O'Neal. O'Neal was in a uh -oh. perfect position to score that, and this could cost them. But luckily, the big defensive clearance comes out. They're down by three still, though. They need a goal, and they need it soon. Yeah, Doomsy chasing this one home. is going to collect all the boosts and go for the aerial. Kyle passing it up, and Doomsy goes right through him. Ball dropping down opposite side. Mike Rules going to be detonated. O'Neal. Now on the attack with his striker out of the action. O'Neal's got to get it done himself, and he is going to lose another midfield fight. Doomsy just pushing everyone away. Kronovi with a shot on goal, and he's going to go for the follow-up. Big aerials needed on defense, and that is a nice clear. But how long can they keep the ball near the goal without allowing another one through? I mean, this is dangerous territory. It's like playing with fire, essentially. We just saw a couple of uh, missed plays. One minute left. <clears throat> Ball's going to be bouncing around. Still in Kronovi, kind of forte, the area that he wants that ball to be in. You just see him, how many times you see him just kind of square it and wrap around? Every single time almost, and it, and it works, and it continuously keeps working for him. Doomsy trying to make something happen, but Mike Rule's able to put the ball back and forth the box, and Neil not going to be able to connect with that one. Uh, Doomsy able to get rid of it. Kronovi playing defense here. Look for him to go on the fast strike, though. That one is going to whip wide left. Need a cow to connect with that one coming in from the aerial, but. I feel like team communication is definitely lacking in this game. And here is a shot opportunity. O'Neal going up for a shot of his own. Kronovi wisely didn't get airborne, just barely gets that ball out of the goal. And fantastic defense in addition to all the attacks Kronovi has had in this game. He has been playing lights out, collecting boosts for the final 10 seconds. All they got to do is keep this ball on the floor. Kronovi's not happy with four. He wants a fifth goal. Uh, he's going to put it back in the middle. Can anyone finish it? One second, time is up. Where's Kyle at? <laughs> this is Kyle's time. <laughs> and Kyle is going to drop it down to the floor. We are looking at a 1-1 game. The first one, 4-1 in favor of Mike Rules. Sorry, first one, 1-0 in favor of Mike Rules. Now a 4-1 finish. Yeah, pretty uh, 
good performance coming out from Kronobi. 460 points he's going to finish with. Just kind of took control of the game, which is what you want to see from him, right? You, you want to see him just take full control defensively, attacking, everything. Just literally doing it all. And we'll switch over to the spectator once again, guys. It is time for game number three. Player to watch off the break. I think Kyle. Kyle off the break is going to be in a pretty good position to try and make something happen. Uh, I think you're going to see that Kyle versus Doomsie face off. Just a matter of who is going to win it. Kyle wins it. And I tell you what. Oh, oh man. Hit the crossbar. You had a so great call there. I went with Doomsie and I just watched the pain from his angle. Sure, sure. Listen to me. Here's man. Kyle with another shot on goal. That one just off the right crossbar. A good steal, though, coming in. That is Kronobi pushing it up. You're watching Doomsie here, his first pick in the draft. And Doomsie trying to get to it. He's not going to need to. A double save coming in. Mike Rules getting the second tap on that Kronobi shot to push it away. O'Neal playing aggressively. Doomsie coming in for the aerial putback. And this has just been chaos all on the orange half. You're going to see on the other end, though, it's going to be Elmer Fudd playing strong defense again for our blue squad. Ball back in the blue base though, and that's Mike Rules who controls the ball perfectly, tries to put some air into it, but luckily for him, Kronovi, maximum amount of boost there. He can easily defend those. Ball back up in the blue left corner. Mike trying to make something happen with this. Just going to be bouncing around over towards Kyle now. Kyle puts it back in the middle. Oh, what a reaction from Mike. Oh, no. He reacted so quickly to that. Managed to get his car into the perfect angle. Take a look at this. The ball just came flying out of me. He's like, oh, I'm just going to barrel roll to the left-hand side. That is a fantastic That was perfect touch right there by Mike Rules. Not an easy shot. Doomsy recognizing it with a nice shot in chat. 1-0 start. This is how they won their first game. They got the first goal within a minute and then just played super <laughs> solid defense. Park the bus. That's what it is. Just park it. Once you get that lead, just make sure you don't make any defensive errors and you will be good. But the problem is you're playing against some of the best Rocket League players from around yeah. the world. They're going to score eventually. And After eventually that last game, you're going to run out of boost eventually on defense right. as well. And Kronovi just seems to be born with boost. <laughs> He just regens it every 10 seconds. And you're going to see another shot. Mike Rules just knowing he has to out aerial his opponents if he wants to get the ball in the other half. Luckily, the ball's going to be over in that box. In comes O'Neal up and under. No, and able to get it. Cal with the bicycle kick potential, but doesn't go for it. Uh, Doomsy says, thank you very much. I'm just going to play that one all the way up. And Mike, uh -oh. with a big defensive stance, comes in, manages to get that ball back. Uh oh, out. shot Anyone? on goal. That could be dipping, hits the crossbar. Anyone for the rebound? Doomsy. Kyle's still in a position potentially where he could have gone for that, but decided he wanted to go for that boost instead. And, and this game is extremely tense right now. Mike is playing these aerials really well. That one goes over his head though. Kyle on defense. Elmer Fudd back at goal for our blue team, Team Kronobi. And he's going to have his hands full. Two players with a shot on goal. <laughs> and Kronobi <laughs> saves it himself. Elmer Fudd playing, honestly, a little too aggressive. Oh, off the bar! Off the bar! Is it going to go in? Kronobi tries to get it away, uh, but O'Neal just comes flying through. I mean, that was a, a the, the first shot was absolutely insane. You see both Kronobi, he, he goes for it. Can't get rid of it. Everyone goes for it. And O'Neal just kind of barrel, barrels into it and, and, and gets that goal. So now just a 2-0 lead with two and a half minutes left. I mean, Mike Rules like in a good position to take this game, Chris. Yeah, they're looking solid, man. Oh, that's an easy third goal, that's, surely. That's they're falling apart. All Mike. Mike and the boys falling apart. Mike Rules taking the game by the scrub of the neck. 375.7 shots, two goals, two saves, and an assist, all on a three-digit ping. Feeling good about all of that. Feeling great about Mike. O'Neill also from the UK playing through the ping struggles. Both players looking very solid in this one. Two shots on goal for O'Neill. And you're going to see 218 left on the clock. Mike Rule's getting back. Kyle's got to get some defense on it. Instead, he just lobs up an easy shot for Kronobi off the crossbar. Kronobi is going to finish. Let's show it from his point of view. This one just laid up top middle. Kyle with a bicycle that just is going to cost him here. And Kronobi, you give him this opportunity, he is not going to give it up easy. Yeah, he's scoring that 99% of the time. Like, it's an easy one for him, and it's going to give his team maybe a little bit of morale boost. Down 3-1, just two goal difference. If I'm Kronobi and the boys, you need to score in the next minute. Now, you need to score in the next minute. You don't want to be trying to score two in the final minute. Kronobi may be blessed with a chance Ooh. here, but Mike rules with the epic save. And Mike was out of boost there. You saw him just on ground. 
able to get that one out. Kronovi with another chance playing the walls perfectly. Unfortunately, Elmer's got to play some defense. This has been their weak link. Oh, Elmer with another big fail. Gibbs would never allow this, you'll yeah. see. El Elmer just played that so passively. He had a chance to, to maybe run at Mike who decided against it, and that's gonna cost the team. That's a full one lead. Nice in favor of Mike Rules. Nice job by Mike, though, to finish. You have to give him props here. Elmer off the break is gonna get the face-off win, but for how long his teammates trying to keep the ball out of the goal while Elmer collects boost? There was nothing in the corner, though, and he's gonna have to go for a big stop and push this one up. Doomsie going for the break, doesn't get it off the wall, and they know the ball is coming back at the hands of their opponents. Good aerial, but not better than O'Neill's. Yeah, O'Neill did so well just to get a little touch, and he's going to put it back into the box. Can he make something happen? Doesn't look like it. Doomsie now trying to run up down that right-hand side wing. Could potentially finish this. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Cal on the line, though. Good save from Cal. O'Neill going for a little defensive work of his own. Kyle with the fast break. And it looks like Orange just going to be stockpiling on boost here. A big shot incoming. O'Neill with the slam. But that's nowhere near goal. This one's going to be dropping in towards the box, though. And Doomsie, so unfortunate he couldn't get that touch. O'Neal now plays it towards middle. Kronovi intercepts it, though. Nice double touch from him. Can he get the third? He's just trying to make something happen. Mike rules, though, on the defensive side of things. Says, don't even worry about it. I know you're going to be running out of boost. I'm just going to keep the ball and play the time. Elmer, nice interception attempt. O'Neal, though, with a putback. Doomsie gets into the corner. Can Elmer work with this? No is the answer. Ball goes flying overhead. Kyle continues to cause problems. Let's go over. That's to your attacking squad. It's Mike rules again. They, they keep moving these players around on me. Can't find them in the spin wheel. Here's a look at Mike. Up and over. Beautiful tap. Beautiful finish, really, from him. And I think that's bad to say. That's going to be Mike rules. How many assists have come in? Assist? Yeah, Kyle with three assists. Mike. Mike has an assist of his own. So full. But great passing coming through out of the five goals. Very yeah. few individual efforts. I'm very impressed with what we see from Mike. You know, he lost that 1v1 to Kronovi earlier on. Give him some threes. That's what, out here winning it. That's what he said in the 1v1 as well afterwards. He's like, you know, just want to set the expectations low so you uh, underestimate me come match time. Here's a look at the action here. Final seconds. Kyle trying to get another <laughs> put back after the time has expired. Instead, it is Mike Rules, though, moving on to the next round. They will be advancing to our championship match on the night. Kyle, three assists, two saves, two shots on goal. O'Neal with two shots of his own, as well as a goal in this one. But Mike Rules, 735 score doubling up the best from the opposition. That was a fantastic performance from, from Mike Rules, to be honest. That, now I understand host, what the hype's all about, man. Man, these Europeans, they can play. I can't wait to actually see Team Wimi tomorrow. We saw Cosmic Aftershock. We've been, you know, kind of blessed to be able to watch them throughout a full tournament. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we get a chance to see Team Wimi in full marquee playing alongside Mike Rules. We do in the three on three. But for now, we're gonna take it to the lower bracket. Gibbs has been waiting. He'll now get his chance to face off against uh, Maki. Maki. Yeah, Maki. There for a chance the to move on in the tournament. And winner of that plays Kronobi. Winner of that meets Mike in the grand final of the day. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. Tweet out the stream. We'll be back right here on MLG.TV.